Thanks, Les Cahirla. Uh, fellow Senators, it's 21 months since I've my election to this 25th Senate, and it was an election where it was only possible for myself to get elected through cross-party support. And whether that was Fine Gael support, Fine Fáil support, the colleagues in Sinn Féin support, whether it was Labour, Independence, or even the Greens to place their support in a completely unknown who was a former dairy farmer from Northern Ireland, which for them was a huge challenge, but nonetheless they gave me that support. I just wanted to express my sincere gratitude to my fellow Senators for their welcome and that support over that period, and to my fellow independent group, who have been uh, com completely a fantastic group of, of Senators to work with. And if I could just make a brief reference to Senator Conway Walsh's uh, comments about Senator O'Donnell. Undoubtedly, Senator O'Donnell came here much, much earlier than I did, and I suppose effectively was a bit of a, a trailblazer. And, and I suppose it's fair to say we both know we probably blaze slightly different trails, but nonetheless can agree on a vast majority of things, and, and that's been important. Cahirlach, uh, and last Cahirlach, to all the Senate staff, to all the admin staff, to the ushers, and including, and maybe especially the catering staff, because as this House knows, an, arm, an army marches on a stomach. And it was but for that sustenance many long days and long nights that, that kept us going. I'd just like to put on record when we're in this particularly challenging time with an election unfolding in front of us and the, the, the visceral vitriolic uh, business that is politics around election, that one thing I have taken note of in these both houses and in, in, in the Oireachtas is the collegiate spirit that exists here. And whether that's from the, the admin staff, from the ushers, from the catering staff, right up through to the Department of the Taoiseach, to, to all the ministers and cabinet, that when the crisis happens, the green shirt goes on and Team Ireland comes into play, and everybody needs to be commended for that. The past 20 months have demonstrated the value of this House, and it's something that I, myself and I'm sure Senator Donald would agree that it's, it's glaringly absent in, in Northern Ireland at the moment. This House's ability to, to scrutinise, to interrogate, to amend and to challenge and interestingly, in the last 12 months, I've learnt the true meaning of the, word, the verb to filibuster. And what I've also learnt is that if, if you're of sound mind and, and intelligence, and you have a good command of the English language, that you can speak on one word for an hour and 20 minutes without repetition, and that must be commended. And the interesting thing is you can repeat that the next day and the next day without <laughs> repetition. So uh, that, that's something I've learnt from my colleagues. This House Cahirlach, has, has an invaluable service, and I think something, sometimes it's misunderstood. And I think we need to recognise that it's not often until you lose something that you realise what you actually had. Uh, for myself, this has been a journey. It's been about building bridges. It's about learning and understanding both ourselves and others. It's about recognising that we actually have more that unites us than divides us. In closing, Cahirlach, it's very interesting to note that I was in a meeting recently in Northern Ireland, and it was a formal meeting, and I turned to formally address the chairman, and I addressed him as Cahirla. <laughs> so you do absorb things, and you do absorb the environment around you, and the environment you live and work in. And for that reason, we as senators all need to send out positive messages. Well said. Well done, buddy.